doesn't love a luxury car for really comfortable, beautiful interiors, light that makes you look beautiful, innovative features, top of the line technology, and that is all in this car, but that's not what this car is about. This is the very first electric car from Lexus, the RZ450e. And while it's electric, and that is huge for Lexus, I don't want to talk about that. I want to talk about the luxury in this car, which is incredible. Let's take a look at the very first electric car from Lexus, the RZ450e. So I do have to start with the front of this car. It is very familiar Lexus-esque. You are gonna recognize this front grille. You will recognize these lightning bolt running, uh, daytime running lights here, these really beautiful LED headlights here, and this large flat front grille. I'm still gonna call it a grille because it's the front of the car, even though the grille is actually right down here. You'll notice that there. And this uh, Lexus badge here, which lights up at night, it's actually illuminated. And then you'll notice there's like the sense of air flowing here around the front grille. This actually, there's air intake here, there's air intake there. It will use air to cool the battery, but also it's for aerodynamics to get air moving past the car really quickly and not have air block the car. And that's one of the things that contributes to efficiency and lets you get more mileage on a battery charge. But come here, I want to show you the rear end of this car because it's all Lexus. It's the new design language from Lexus. And it also is pretty cool. So you'll notice here on the rear, again, it's very flat. The Lexus name is spelled out here. There's a light bar here that runs across. And here are these almost like Batmobile wings that I think of. They're, they're vortex disruptors or something like that. I'll put the note down below. But these are designed to, instead of a spoiler that might cause downforce or uplift as air flows over it, this is designed to let the air flow over the car as efficiently as possible. Again, giving you more range, more miles on a battery charge. If you're looking at the size of the RZ and thinking it looks like an SUV, well it does. And actually it's the same size as the Lexus RX. So that is the midsize SUV from Lexus. It's the same size and it has a lot of the same design details and a lot of the same features. Hello, side mirror that pops out as I walk by with my key. Um, a lot of the same great details that we find in the RX and the NX, as well as some novel details of the first time we've seen in any Lexus. Let's take a look at the interior of the first ever Lexus RZ. But the real beauty of this car starts when you get into this interior, and I want you to note the color of this microsuede interior. This is blue microsuede. You've never seen anything like it. It is lush, it is premium, it is beautiful. And it is not leather, it's actually vegan. It's sustainable man-made material, including the leather on the steering wheel. It's actually not leather. It also is vegan leather or leatherette. There's leatherette trim here. They call it new Lux is what they call it, but it's a man-made material. And one of the luxuries of this car is that it's all made from sustainable materials. So there is a center console here. It looks like wood not wood it is a plastic with a film over it that has an etched texture to it it looks like wood but it's actually not wood so honestly i could almost stop there but i won't because there are some other really cool features here's a feature you don't see on a lot of cars but you do see on the lexus rz 450e and that is this it is the dynamic roof. It is only available in the luxury edition, but it takes this opaque roof and now it is clear. Check that out. So the skylight is now completely clear. If I don't want that, I can turn it off. If I do want it, I can turn it back on. I can play with this all day. I think I like the palm trees. Oh wait, did you hear that? car turned on and there's nothing to hear except for the seat. Do you see what the seat just did? So it's positioning for how it's been set. Now I'm going to turn on the roof and boom. Now we have clear sky, but I don't want that because it's a sunny day. So now I have opaque sky. It is really beautiful. We actually saw this in the Toyota Venza. That was the first time that we've seen a uh, sunroof like this, although 
It's kind of a novel thing. You've probably seen it in some bars and restaurants in the past. I know that I have. It's kind of cool to see it in cars now. Another detail that I'm going to share with you is the uh, on the steering wheel. There is this is something that we've seen on the RX. There is a uh, touch sensitive pad here on either side that as you swipe your finger around you can see what's going on on the head-up display. It's one of the coolest features that I've ever seen in a car and it really is a game changer. It's a life changer. Once you get used to using this um, you have just everything that you want is not even just at the touch of your fingers but it's just all you barely have to do is think about it. Here is head-up display in the Lexus RZ450e. You can see the projection box right there and then you can actually see the projection right on the uh, windshield ahead of me and check this out. Can you see while I swipe my finger around the uh, touchpad on the steering wheel, I get different views of the different functions. So there is the follow assist, follow distance adjustment. Um, I can turn on cruise control. Over here is adaptive cruise control. There's my lane trace assist. It even tells you what these are, follow distance. It tells you there's my drive assist mode. Let's tap that. So I can tap adaptive cruise or regular cruise. So I can toggle between those. And then here I can even change the different things I see. So I can change my HUD, my head up display position, all kinds of cool things right there. And I see it all in the head up display. Now let me show you. By swiping my finger around, on this touchpad here, every time I it senses my finger, I'm able to see whatever this function is in the head-up display. Also, same here with the radio control settings, voice assist, and even just adjusting the uh, volume on the radio. And then it's got paddle shifters. And these are not your average paddle shifters. These are actually regenerative braking paddles. So I can pull this one to get max regen braking, or I can let that go and, and go back to sort of a more normal drive experience by pulling this paddle. And then you'll see there's a little screen here. And you won't see anything on that screen. This is actually a driver monitor. So this is watching the driver to make sure that if I'm using the hands-free, foot-free drive assist mode, traffic jam assist is what they call it, where I can relax my hands, don't really take them off the wheel, but I mean, you can for a second. And I can take my feet off the pedals. The car will do the driving, but my eyes still have to be on the road. And this will monitor my eyes to make sure that my eyes are on the road. It will also monitor my eyes all the time I'm behind the wheel. So if I feel tired and my eyes are not blinking enough or it senses that maybe my eyes are kind of at half mast, well then it will tell me it's time to pull over and take a break. A safety feature that we have come to love in new cars and is really a luxury. I also love this one, check this out. Hey Lexus. How can I help you? Isn't that cool? So Lexus has added this voice activated assistance. We know this from Siri. We know this from Amazon. We know this from uh, Google Home. All you have to do is ask for what you want and she's there to help you get what you need. And there are multiple layers of functions inside the multimedia system from navigation that stores. There's a navigation subscription to uh, setting up the settings in your car to setting up your driver preferences all kinds of things you can ask it to call a restaurant and make a dinner reservation there's a lot of things it can do and updates can be made over the air just like they do with your computer and your phone so you can get in the car one day and it says over the air update available click yes and then it will make that update while you're driving or while you're it's parked in your car in your garage charging it can also update its operating system so pretty cool thing and great for the future i want you to notice this under here there's a nice little uh, space under the center console perfect for something like a cosmetic bag or a small purse you can just tuck that in there there is a not so much of a lip here but on the driver's side there's a very solid lip there 
very thoughtful detail from Lexus. What that means is if you go around a corner, your handbag's not gonna go rolling out from underneath the console and under your feet, which would be a bad thing. So it's protective of the driver, and I really like that feature. This is the only internal storage in the car other than your armrest, which is here. There's an armrest that opens either way here. So you do have storage in here, but you don't have, what we don't have, is there is no glove box here. This actually is a heated pad that helps to heat the cabin of the car while you're in the car. It turns on by just turning on your heated seat and there's heat that comes out of here. And when you turn on the driver's heated seat, there's a heating pad here. And what that does is it helps to heat you, think of it as like an electric blanket, as opposed to turning up the heat in the house. You just put on the electric blanket because you don't need all the heat in the house. And that is the idea with an electric car, is to give you heat where you need it and not heat spaces you don't need to for maximum battery efficiency to give you more driving range instead of spending all of your electricity heating a car that you don't really need to heat. Now it doesn't cool, so you can turn on your cooled seats, but you don't get a cooled panel there. That's just the vented seats. And here, the center console has this really beautiful uh, texture treatment. It's actually a plastic formed console, and then they add this layering on top of it to make it look like wood grain. It's not actually wood grain. It all has this nice curve down into here, which is our wireless charge pad. So I pop my phone in there and you see it comes on because now it's charging. We have our cup holders here, and a first for Lexus, this new gear selector. So you press it down and turn it for the gear you want. So if I press it down and turn it to the left, I get reverse. To the right, I get drive. And then to put it in park, I just tap the P button. This is really nice. This textured metal feels really nice in your hand. And then there's a little uh, glossy black, our hold button, parking brake, and traction control. So I love this one. This, is, this one is the greatest feature ever. If you have this button, on your car and you're not using it, you are selling yourself short because this is the greatest feature. Your climate control is all here, all on this really beautiful touch screen. So you can turn on or off the fan. You can actually turn it down or turn it all the way off. You have these knobs here when I turn it to, let's see, let's turn it to, so you can see the, uh, the temperature, the interior temperature is in this tiny little screen right there. And then you have, um, uh, the defroster there are here's your uh, auto park so if you want to use uh, auto park park assist that's there here are cameras look at this beautiful surround view camera let's see if it sees us sitting in the car it doesn't it's an animation over the camera view so it's a little distorted because we have the doors open and then our I'm gonna turn that off and then we have our three USB ports right here. I wanna show you this though. And that is in the screen. It's a little bit of a controversial thing, but we do have a drive mode selector. So you're able to pick normal sport eco range, which is, allows the car to dictate what it needs to do, which mode it needs to be in to get the range that you want to, you know, to use the most uh, efficient use of battery and then custom, so you're able to actually set up what you want here on your custom settings. The drive mode selector is only here in this uh, screen. So if you want the drive mode, you've gotta go into vehicle, drive mode, and then pick the one that you want. We were driving in Eco all day, and I would say it was pretty awesome. We drove in Sport, and woohoo, that was pretty good. I'll show you that. And, um, and then there's normal, and normal, feels like just your average beautiful ride really love that and that's the default mode so if you don't have if you don't select anything else it's just in normal if you get into a Lexus and the voice assistance is not on I'm going to show you how to turn that on so you go to your settings here and then you're going to go down to voice and search and you want to turn on the wake word so the wake word it tells us is hey Lexus I could actually turn it off or I can turn it on and I can also turn off the voice prompt. So if I turn this off and I say, hey Lexus, I will just see the notification coming up here that it's listening, but it won't say anything. It will respond with beeps instead of voice prompts. But I like the voice prompt because I like to know someone's paying attention to me. 
So, and then there are more climate settings here. So to turn on the heated seat as well as the heated panel underneath the steering wheel or on the passenger side dashboard, I just tap on the heated seat. And then here's our vented seat and our heated steering wheel, which we don't need today. Even the doors are luxurious in the Lexus RZ. So it starts with this dual tone um, blue and cream colored uh, leatherette and micro suede. I love this micro suede. And then you have your window controls here, your mirror controls there. And then you might wonder, where's the door? How do I get out of here? Well, you just push this little button and then push the door. It's an electric door handle. And then you say, well, what if the battery dies and I can't open the door because you took a nap in the car or whatever, forgot to plug it in. Don't worry about that. It actually pulls out if you pull it twice. You can open it mechanically. So there is a safety feature. You can do this. So you can actually customize. I love this so much. So you're gonna go to settings and then you're gonna to go to vehicle customize. There are a lot of things in here. So you can set up your head up display. You can set up your display switch, uh, meter type display switch. But here's where I want you to go is to steering switch. And if you are wearing gloves, you can actually set this up into winter gloves mode and that means if you have gloves on and you're touching this you'll be able to do this with gloves on and i love that especially for those days where it's just freezing outside and you have to have your gloves on ambient light in the lexus rz so there is lots of light here but i want you to notice also these um, details here, these buttons, your USB ports, they're all lit. So in the dark, and we are in a dark parking garage, you can see them. There's also a little um, light there in the door pocket. There are lights in the footwell, even in the underneath the uh, compartment here, underneath the center console. But then there is this. So this might look like a pattern, but it's actually ambient light there's a little projector over there you can see it's tucked right in there and that is projecting this little uh this pattern here on the door so very cool very elegant one of the best technologies in new cars is advanced park or park assist or self parking they all call it something a little different lexus calls it advanced park and what that does is it actually helps it, you park by parking the car for you. You do have to be in the driver's seat in this particular instance. You do have to pay attention, but that's about it. I'm going to show you how it works. So the first thing you'll do is tap this little button here and you'll see it's going to check for a parking spot. Now I need to stop the car and start. So I'm going to tap start and it's going to move forward and it's going to identify a parking spot. It will identify a parking spot based on the lines that are painted in the parking lot and other vehicles that are in the parking lot. So it'll park between cars or it will just park between the lines here. You can see it's outlined in blue and I don't have to do anything, honestly. I don't have to do a thing. You can see here that it's pulled into the spot. You see the surround view camera here. It's put the car in, into park now and it gives you a surround view so you can see everything around the car. Now, it just did that. I never once looked in the mirror. I never once looked in my side mirrors. I am in a empty, pretty empty parking lot, so I feel comfortable that it did that. But wow, that was pretty cool. So since this RZ is almost exactly the same size as the RX, you might wonder, is it big? I think it's actually bigger. It feels great. Look at the leg room I have in here. And this is the little secret about electric cars is that they have great passenger space. There's a lot of space to work with. So I could actually cross my legs. I can sit back. I can enjoy the ride. I can't move my seat, I don't think. I don't think there's a way for me to move my seat. No, my seat is stationary. So I don't think I can even Recline my seat. I, might. I can put it back a little bit. But not a ton. You can see. You can see here. There is this look. Oh, this is, 
have to tell you, this micro suede is delicious. I really love this. It feels so good. So, I mean, I might just put this armrest down and just touch it because <laughs> it's so gorgeous. It's really beautiful. You know, back in the day, a lot of cars would put the micro suede here on the headliner on the roof. And they didn't do that. They put more of a traditional headliner here and they just allow you to have all of this micro suede and it is glorious. I really also like this nearly flat floor. So I'll show you, there's my handbag and it's not completely flat. There's a little bit of a ridge here, a little bit of a bump, but it's pretty nice. And then we have, um, we have vents here. These are our only vents for rear seat passengers, but we do have heated seats and we do have two USB ports and a cigarette adapter style outlet there. So lots of charging for backseat passengers. I will say this is really comfortable. Very, very luxurious and everything that you expect from Lexus very nicely done. As an SUV, of course, you want to fold your seats down. I'm going to show you something kind of cool too. The center row seatbelt is right here and it's actually contained in the seat. So when you pull the seat down, there's not a seatbelt from the roof that extends down that you have to mess with. Another luxury. I'll show you what it looks like on the other side. So just pull the seat down. Super easy. And here's what it looks like when the seats are flat in the Lexus RZ. And easy to put up. Like super easy to put up. Oh, let's see if I can do it. Ugh. I can even do that one. <laughs> Behind the wheel of the Lexus RZ, you have some drive modes and you get those by tapping the little car here. And the first thing that comes up is drive mode and it's pretty instant. There's not a button, but here are your choices. So we could, let's go into Eco, which is really what you want to get the most out of your battery is to select Eco. Eco will turn down your air conditioning and it will make sure that the entire car is maximized for the most Eco driving. And then you can pull this left paddle shifter. And when you've pulled it, and you'll see there are arrows that, uh, on the head-up display that illustrate the intensity of regenerative braking. When you see those arrows in place, you know that even when you're accelerating, you have the max regenerative energy going back into the battery, saving you, using the least amount of battery to propel the car and restoring the most amount of power to the battery uh, as you're driving. And then of course, as you're slowing. So even before you tap the brake, as you lift your foot off the accelerator, it starts to regenerate uh, energy back into the battery. In fact, we're coming up on a traffic light right now. And so I'm just gonna lift my foot off the accelerator and we go instantly, very, very slow. It doesn't go all the way. I actually have to speed up to get to the uh, intersection. It does not go all the way to zero, but it will go down to about seven or eight miles an hour. And then you do have to tap the brake to get it all the way to uh, a complete stop. You can tap your hold button. And then once you've put it in hold mode, you can take your foot off the brake, which is really nice. And so it's not true one pedal driving, but it is does give you that regenerative capability. And listen to that motor. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's really quiet. I love how quiet this is and so luxurious. And that is, somebody once said to me, the essence of a luxury car is how quiet it is. Well, I would say that about this car. The essence of this driving the Lexus RZ is exactly that, it's quiet. So let's hop on the highway. We are in eco mode. So I'm actually gonna pop it into sport mode. And we're gonna hop on the highway and see what this car is like for acceleration and pickup. So we're gonna just... Wow, okay, 70 miles in pretty much no time flat. That's insane. Now I will say the head up display tells me I've got, uh, I'm going 72, 65 mile an hour speed limit. So it's okay. Um, but the acceleration is insane. And that is in sport mode. So let's try it in eco. So I do feel a little bit of a lag there, but for accelerating onto the highway, even in eco mode, it's fine. And it's really quiet and quite lovely. So 
now I want to pass this traffic. I had to quickly get into this lane to get ahead of uh, traffic behind me. And I'm shortly just right up to speed and flowing with the traffic. And that's really what you want is you want that confidence of being able to get onto the highway really quickly and being able to uh, get up to speed and stay at, you know, in the traffic flow very easily. It's also nice and the engine is quiet. The road's a little loud. I do kind of hear the noise of the road. You can probably hear that. So not the quietest, but that's not necessarily the car's fault. I guess it could probably be a little quieter, um, but it also is one of those concrete highways that's really loud. Should we try that acceleration again? Let's put it in range mode and see what we get here. So range mode, oh, I feel the power drop instantly. I really have to give it some acceleration when you put it in range mode. So it really takes away from that instant acceleration that you kind of feel from a more powerful. And I'm surprised, even in eco mode, you have more instant acceleration than you do in range mode. But range mode is designed to really maximize the range on the car and not so much the uh, drive experience. So it prioritizes one over the other. So I get that, that's fair, fair enough. If that's the reason you bought the car is to have the most efficient drive, well, it allows you to do that. Should we feel that acceleration again? Let's put it in sport. And ah, now this truck is getting in front of me. <laughs> But there we go. Not bad. Some nice options here. In addition to, it's not true one pedal driving, but in addition to being able to use the paddles to uh, regenerate more power and use the, the car's power to slow as opposed to uh, using the brakes, you're able to use less battery power and save, conserve that battery power for driving later. That's how you get more miles out of a battery than, it, than the estimate. It might estimate 196 miles where you have the 20 inch wheels. Uh, you could probably do better than that. Maybe even, you know, 10 or 15% better by using regenerative braking and driving in eco mode versus just driving in normal like you would all the time. It's kind of lovely. <sighs> now it's really quiet. Even the charge door is luxury on the Lexus RZ. So let me show you. It's right here and you pop this open and there's not a big connector that you have to pull off. A lot of them have a big contraption. You don't have to do that. This is for level two charging. And if you're going to use level three, then you do have to open this and the whole level three charger goes in there. But what Lexus has done is they've added a plastic or a rubber gasket around the edge of the charge door. So that will keep it clean, keep stuff out of it while you're not using it. And voila, the luxury charge door. Who knew? But I like it. It is an SUV. That means it has a hatchback and that means there's a lot of cargo space back here. So I want you to notice you could get easily three or four or five roller bags here. It's extra wide and there's a little panel on either side so you can put things over here on this, on either side, put your milk, put a stroller will fit in here, a, a long, like an umbrella stroller will fit in here. So lots of great cargo space, but wait, there's more. And that is underneath here, there's actually a really nice cargo area here. Lexus has outfitted you with a plug and then there's even more space under here. So you can put more things underneath the cargo floor if you need to, which is a really good feature, something that we love about SUVs. And if you need to take this off, this actually comes off really easily and it folds and you can pop it. And this you can actually put underneath the cargo floor. So you don't need to have your cargo cover out all the time if you don't want it. I love that. Does your car have this? You lock it, you walk away. When you return, you kick your foot underneath the 
bumper to open the car. And then you push this button and listen for the beeps. It's gonna beep. You grab all your stuff, you walk away, it locks the door and closes the gate. Thank you, Lexus. The Lexus RZ450E has an electric driving range of either 196 miles or 220, depending on really what size tires you have, the 18 inch or the 20 inch wheels. And it has 313 horsepower. And that is because there are two motors. There's a front and a rear motor, which also means it's all wheel drive. So it's all wheel drive whenever you need it, whenever the car senses it's necessary. Most of the time though, it's going to be efficient and only use the rear wheel drive, the rear motor to drive the rear wheels. With a starting price of $58,000 and all in, it's something over $65,000 with some packages. It is all luxury and all Lexus and very quiet and very sustainable and very uh, environmentally friendly. And that is a real luxury.